Hi, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is my 2008 Suzuki SX4. In this video, I will replace the rear brake pads on the car. Let's go ahead and get started. The brake pads that I got are Wagner QS. I got them from Rock Auto at a pretty reasonable price. And they come with the actual brake pads and all the various mounting hardware bits, the shims and so forth, all wrapped up in a bag. On this side of the car, we have the original factory caliper. This is the passenger side. On the back side of the caliper are two 12 millimeter bolts that need to be removed to take off the caliper. And also I'll be replacing all these metal shims because new ones came with the brakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the two bolts. Okay, that one came off pretty good. Just go ahead and spin it off once you have it loose. And likewise for the other bolt, Now in theory, you should be able to lift the caliper up, but they're always stuck. So I'm going to take a screwdriver and pry things up here. Okay, I've got a wrench in here to help me pry it some more. I'm going to use a bigger wrench. And we're almost there, believe it or not. There it goes. Okay, that was stuck on there pretty good. So this is the old caliper. We'll be reinstalling it. Use a screwdriver to get the pads off. This is the outer pad and there's an inner pad on the other side of the rotor. So just use a screwdriver and they should come off pretty easily. That one came right off. That's the outer pad. Here we go with the inner pad. And that one's coming off pretty easily too. Now we don't have to worry about any of this hardware. I'm going to be throwing away this hardware and using new hardware. So the caliper has an old metal shim on it. I'm going to be replacing that. So I need to get it off as well. Almost off. There we go. Got it. There are two identical shims. One goes on either side of the caliper. You get them over the rotor and press them in place like that. I'll get the other one in. Be sure you get the little lip on the bottom lined up properly. Like that. It's a good idea to use a little disc brake lubricant on the inner and outer pads. Now this is the outer pad. It's going to be installed on the outside of the rotor. So the lubricant goes where these fingers here are on the caliper. So when they press against the pad, there's just a little bit of lubricant there to make things work smoothly. Now the inner pad, it's pressed in place by this piston back here. So the lubricant on the inner pad goes in the spot where the piston is. Put a little dab of the grease here, rub it in with a fingertip, and since there's grease already on the fingertip, put a little on the other side as well. This is the inner pad, so I'm going to put the grease in the center where the piston will be touching it. This grease cost about a dollar and a half at an auto parts store. And sometimes the replacement parts will come with the grease. So I'm just going to put it in the center like that. Be sure you don't get the grease on the friction surface of the pads or on the rotor because that will reduce the performance of the brakes. Put the inner pad in place, making sure you don't touch the grease. Slide it in. On the inside of the rotor, then get the outer pad in place. Again, making sure you steer clear of the grease. You don't want to smear the grease around any more than it already is. I need to retract this piston so that the caliper will fit over the brake pads. And the way to do it on this car is you have to rotate the piston while pushing it in. And it's a tedious and strenuous process. But uh, I've, I've got an angle here that allows you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to show you a little bit of it 
but it's going to take a while for me to get this rotated and push back in. I'm using a pair of needle nose pliers. I don't really have a better tool for this. You see there it's rotating and it is ever so slowly pushing in. So just keep working at it until you get the piston as far retracted as it will go. It's almost time to put the caliper back on, but before you do that, you have to put the upper shim into the caliper. Put the caliper in place. Again, making sure that you don't touch the grease. And finally, the two caliper bolts, one on either side. Just get them threaded in with your fingers at this point. And do the final tightening on the caliper. There's an inner nut that you need to hold down with a 17 millimeter wrench and the outer bolt is the 12 millimeter we've been using and just get it tightened down really firm and do it on both sides. The hardest part of that brake pad repair was getting the piston retracted in the caliper. Once we got that done, and it only took a few minutes, then everything went together pretty well. Keep in mind that you should change the brake pads by the entire front of the car or entire rear of the car. You shouldn't just do one wheel. You should do both rear wheels or both front wheels or else you could walk into some problems. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.